welcome to the swamp, home of the Florida Gators, and we've long been told it is here that only the Gators get out alive. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see the number 24 team in the country, the Texas A&M Aggies, taking on a fellow SEC opponent, the Florida Gators. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Coming out with it, it's Allen. That is a decision he will like.
we're trying to show them what it's going to be like all day in this house. The inside handoff. Rumbles ahead for six and all the way out to the 16. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Side handoff looking for a crease. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. And offenses want to continue to enter the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense out. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Going to try to get it himself. He saw just enough daylight to move the sticks and get it done with his legs. And QBs running around, it's normal nowadays. You see such good athletes at the quarterback position. But I tell you what, he better start sliding, too. Get some first downs, that's fine. Get some yards, that's fine. Make sure you slide on the ground so you don't take too many licks like that. And the Aggies will snap it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Pressure coming. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. They've got him then deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. Back to pass, it's Wegman. He tries to take the top off. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Not many receivers like to get hit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donna. That's what they are, that's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell he was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him to make sure he had to think about something later, and you could see the ball pop out and fall to the ground. A strike downfield. And he's running in the open. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple of throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. He'll bring it out. It's Wilson. Makes a move. He's got an alley. There he goes. Open it up. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Gator. He just took it the entire length of the field, end to end, coast to coast, nationwide for the touchdown. And, and how about the fans in the stands going, no, 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 take a knee, take a No, yes, 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 yes. Over 100 yards to the kickoff return. Nice job taking that knee in his own a huge play. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Splits those uprights right in half. You get a return like that, and it can't just be the guy with the ball who's right. Everybody has to do a job, and they did that in brilliant fashion on that one. He'll bring it out. It's Owen. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. The gift to the back. The Aggies get enough to move the chains. 
Running the balls in the Aggies' DNA, I mean, that dates back to the junction boys. It's the physicality. They, they find those guys up front that can make holes. And I think that's when you see the great A&M teams, really good offensive line paving the way for those backs and those great teams they've had. Got the quick pass. And more yards after contact. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Running backs just have to be a weapon in the passing game, even for little dump-offs and check-downs. Yeah, find your matchups. I mean, you think about running back versus a linebacker. We like that matchup in space, and so find ways to get the football to your running back in space where you can break tackles and make things happen because they're just so dynamic. And the Aggies want to pick up the tempo. It's a draw. And the defense drags him down. Well, the defense wasn't expecting that. They had a lot of guys back into coverage. That was second and a lot of yards to go, and they got caught off guard. Not enough guys in the box to control that running back. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Smashes through. And they're going to lose yardage there. The defense completely owning the front. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Trying to make magic with his feet. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Quarterbacks have a hard job. They got to drop back and try to see the whole field and then see the rush coming to him. But you can tell he did a really good job scrambling outside the pocket, improvising, making a play with his feet, and then getting the first down. Feeling some heat. Setting up the screen and it's picked off. Didn't let him get loose on the return, but he'll take it as they have the ball at the 47. Man, that is picture perfect cover zero. When I play cover zero, I'm bringing pressure, and that ball's going to come out. Look at the defense. Ready for that ball to come out of the quarterback's hand. Nice job breaking on the football and going and making the interception. Ready? Offense getting set for first down. Give to the running back. Got the first down and still on his feet. And he's brought down after a nice game. This guy's got a lot of tools in his toolbox toting the rock, man. He showed you right there. And when I think back to Florida running backs, Emmett Smith, all-time great. But a guy I played with in Gainesville, Fred Taylor. He was so big, but so fast for a guy his size. He just caused so many problems for the defenses we face. And I think in the SEC today, you have got to be able to run the football if you're going to win games. And this guy right here, he's going to give the Gators a chance. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job on the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Quickly to the tight end. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. The Gators come to the line with a fresh set of downs. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Headed to the end zone. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida! The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TV. PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Fielded in the end zone, it's Allen. I imagine. 
imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistake. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Texas A&M going quickly. He does a good job of scrambling around and, and trying to make a play, but I tell you what, you don't want to take too many shots like that. Those big hits, oof. If you get up now, you dang sure are going to feel them later. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. try to power their way ahead and boy is he close to that first down maybe just a couple of inches short they're in their own territory but they only need a few inches and this is why you have a prominent jawline and an urgent resolve they'll go for it he's run out of bounds but a big play on that one and it'll be a first down Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Running back searching for a hole. There to stop him at the 43, but he gets five and moves the sticks. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Texas A&M ready to go with another first down. Handoff from the gun. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. So the early contact for the defense, and they'll move it up five yards. Penalty's the last thing this defense needed. Now it's second and four. Wants to throw. It's Wegman. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Right, that's your goal. Separate man from ball. Try to get your shoulder in there on the catch point and really make give him something to think about. Physically jar that football and knock it out. Nice job by the defender. Never has to leave the pocket and fires over the middle. And the defense was right there to make the tackle, but not before they get it to the 12 and set up in the red zone. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And he gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his, that's your playmaker, that's your guy. You get it to him, get the first down. Zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll run it from the gun. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. 
Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. He'll boot it from the left side, and from this distance, that angle ought to be fairly easy. That is no good. After that miss, still a seven-point game, guys. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's why recruiting is so important. They've got weapons at every skill position on the field. Any of these. And he breaks into the open. He's at the 40. And they get him out of bounds after an explosive run, just chewing up yardage along the way. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. Coming after it. Trying to escape and get it himself. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And that's why these quarterbacks are just so hard to defend. It's a pass play. He drops back. First down. Got to play the whole field up. Scrambles around. Runs for a first down. New set of downs. New set of problems. Got enough space. And he'll finish the run. This offense, they've got multiple guys that can burn you. You can see it doesn't take them long to light up the scoreboard. Ready to try the point after. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finished it off with an exclamation point, running it in from the 19. Fielded in the end zone. It's Allen. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that one. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. The Aggies want to crank the tempo. And the defense gets a huge play. I'll tell you, they've been wreaking havoc in this one so far. They've got so many athletes up front on this defensive line. It kind of reminds me about the defenses I used to go against in practice back in the late 90s. Guys like Javon Hurst coming off the edge. The free. It was a nightmare. So hard for our guys to block. We felt like game day was easier than what we faced in practice. And I tell you, this D-line by the Gators, what they got this year, they are special. On fourth down, they'll throw for it. Fires deep on the run. Makes the catch down the right side. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. How about that one? Fourth and forever, and he just turned one loose and fired it for the first down. Man, does that sting. Defensively, you get him in the perfect situation. You know they're going to pass the football. You play the ball deep, and you give up a deep pass. That is a back-breaking play. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. time and that's going to be incomplete a lot of contact on the play but no flags it'll be third down they line up and it is a long way to the sticks from here fires to 
the tight end. You know, the tight end's going to have to do a better job of separating and giving this quarterback a place to go with the football. That time, just couldn't create it. And as a result, as soon as he made the catch, he was brought to the ground, setting up fourth down. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll leave the offense out there to try to move those chains. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. And the pass is intercepted. Taking it the other way. The 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Florida. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. Look, a lot of time left. There's a little bit of distance right now being put on the scoreboard. There is, but it's so awesome to hear a defense who study all week about what's coming and what routes to be ready for, and then you jump the route, and you make the play, and you just go get in that end zone. It is so beautiful. He'll bring it out. It's Allen. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He wants to throw. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Back to throw. It's Wegman. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that, you show your exotic looks, you get the pass rush going, everybody in the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth down. Fourth down, going to the air. And they can't connect, and the gamble does not work out. Well, I knew the coach was confident in his offense. I did not know he was that confident this early in the game. Fourth and long. I thought he'd just punt that one away and let his defense take the field. Interesting. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Gator! 